out right now. We hear the concealed play come out. Hone oh. gets grabbed up with the divine judgment, followed by the penalty zone. Up at the top, ISO goes down to promise the rest of BTK is in flight, trying to get away from an oppressive OP right now. Mopazain has been caught by promise, and he is, oh, almost, he's not down yet. Still struggling to find his way out. Best play. So we're jumping into game one one here. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is about to set the tone. Game one, outplay, taking on BTK. Okay, so like we said, let's lay down the story here. BTK on a road to redemption here. Can they take out outplay in game one? Like Naisu made such a great point of, I think something very important here is can they be aggressive in the early stage? Can they try to push into the land of outplay and maybe even try to secure something early on to best player? I think oh. it's an important winning condition. We're already seeing some of that happen. Another big win condition for BTK is gonna be T. He's gonna need to be able to find angles onto Hoon on this Farza and onto Basic on this carry. I think if BTK can do that, then they can possibly take this but outplay on the other hand they have a nice late game they have great scaling with this farza great scaling with this carry and if they can find the positions in these neutral objectives they can definitely take us through this that's the thing though is that both teams actually have great options for you know uh early game late game potential here but really, when it when all is said and done, who's able to secure the objectives? You guys talked about the retribution battles before leading into this, and that's a big thing. You know, they have to be able to play around that. You can already see some focus here, top side. Yeah, top side already. Three members of BTK kind of setting up there. Mobazane going to go ahead and start uh, moving his way up through their jungle shark, making sure he still has that vision. But. Turtle's going to be up in about 22 seconds. A little bit of magic happening here at the mid, but still, a lot of respect for both of these teams. Yeah, but look at BTK right now. They're literally taking the words out of your lips, Naisu. They've been in their jungle. They're taking some camps. They have a nice position, but both teams taking it slow. Even though Outplay likes to be the aggressors, this is grand finals, and you can tell they don't want to go too insane on this. First Turtle is up. Okay, first turtle here. They're going to be fighting it out. Yeah, two on two here right now. We can see the Thorn Rose coming out. Turtle is down to about 50%. Best player in the midst of it is going to come out. Feathered Airstrike, best player, gets the first turtle. That's a big one. It's a good start. Luckily, nobody does go down for BTK just yet. But wait, ISO taken out of the top side. Yeah, uh, uh, on off screen, ISO gets taken down, and that is not what you want from your marksman who does need some time to kind of get that gold to be in the game. So that's great, right? Able, Outplay is able to get the first blood. They get the first turtle here. They're off to a good start, building that momentum we were talking about. Oh, Hook Land, Joyboss gets caught, is going to be able to find an escape. Okay, that's what we love. We love the hooks, <laughs> right? That's kind of what you expect when the Franco's on the table here. So, Bloodthirsty Kings, they want to be conscious of that. Where is Shark? as much as possible, kind of counterplay around that. Maybe even bait the hooks, right? And this is what they could go for. Oh. Mobazane does get caught by a hook. Feather airstrike comes down. He's very low. Thorn Rose finishes the job. And this is one of the problems, right? They can't get split up too late. But best player doesn't want to stop. Might back off here, but wait. Yeah, 2-0 oh right now. Joy Bosch is trying to get onto the oh. hook. Another hook lands. Feather airstrike of their own. It's not going to be able to protect them. Another kill for best player. Oh, Outplay is taking off right now. This is going to be a little bit of a problem if BTK wants to try to come back here. It's starting. That's the momentum we were talking about. 3-0 now. And leading up to, you know, we're 30 seconds away from the next turtle. They got to be able to kind of slow things down like you guys mentioned. But at the same time, this is where they need to find pickoffs, right? Joy Botch has to come through for this. I mean, and look at the mini-map. Zane consistently alone. And But the thing is, is, Shark is the one creating this pressure in the gold lane so that Joy Botch and the rest of the team, they have to stay up here. Zane is forced to be alone, and that's why he got caught off in the Litho Wander earlier. Now, taking a look at some of these items, taking a look at Zane. He's got the Molten Core down, going even more in into magic defense because we know that Hoon is a problem. On the other side, we have best player also a little bit ahead here. They are going to try to force this tower, though. They force the tower, but do not find an answer. They're basically safe and snug as a bunny there. 
that's rough, right? Because you now don't have the flicker, but now Turtle, the fight's gonna ensue. Yeah, we do have the air strike coming down. Turtle down to about 10% health. Mobazane gets the second turtle. They are still fighting in here. We do see that suppression come down. Mobazane gets taken down. Feathered air strike of their own. Yato finds the kill on to Hoon. We are not done yet. All right, so they get a little bit of something there, but wait, the slam slam. Yeah, and we do have the Thor Rose come out. Yato goes back, but Joy Bonds gets taken out by Promise. Just when they thought they got away, just when they thought they took the objective and tried to even the game, Outplay gets the outplay. Still holding a 3,000 gold lead here, but BTK not giving up just yet. Best player, though, now the aggressor in the jungle. Yeah, and they're fighting over these buffs. Zane is having trouble trying to keep the best of him right now. You see, we were talking about Lance being able to kind of get in and get out without much hesitation. Yeah, he bobs, he weaves, right? That's one of the great things about him. And you can see the pressure being put now on Moba Zane. He's going to have to rely on his team to help him out a little bit here, buy some time. You guys already mentioned, you know, five and a half minutes in the game. The gold lead is there for outplay. And this is, again, going back to the point that they love to build momentum here. Ooh. That was close. That was dicey. <laughs> but I ISO picking up a big item. This is going to start to help him scale a little bit here. Listen, we're about six minutes in, and BTK has the fear of hooks in them right now. <laughs> After Shark lands one or two of those, you got to start being careful. Well, look! Oh, yeah, feathered it. airstrike. Yato still is able to get out of the way. It was very close, though. No fear. No fear. No, fear. Yeah. Like, you know what? no. Uh, just kidding. All right. He misses one, but he's going to make up for it later on in the game. But BTK still holding on. They have to do everything they can here to kind of whittle down that gold lead, slow things down, because First Lord, when it comes up after this next turtle take, hopefully BTK can assert some dominance in this uh, in this objective take, secure the... Oh, Hook lands! Jobot's in trouble! Gets taken down by Hoon! That is a problem, that time and time again. That is fear. Fear Fear's him back. now. <laughs> fear Mo Shark. Yeah, Mobile Zane uh, with ISO here. It is a three on a two, actually four on three right now. Not sure if they have what it's... Oh, but Pages Wrap does come down. Moba Zane trying to get some positioning on here. Oh. Best player still gets the Lord, but down goes best player to Yato. And the kill goes to Yato, and take a look at Yato. Two, zero, and zero. Yes, the gold lead is a little ahead, but it has stayed at the same for about the whole game. Outplay has not gotten into a full-on snowball position just yet. We can't put all of our eggs in that basket just yet. Outplay's not taking the game. Oh. Here comes Joy Bosch. And what a great read by OP. Always ready for these gigs. Hoon coming in from the back. They still very safe under their tower. Okay. Joybotch, that's that's twice now same lane. He's tried to make a pick, but that's kind of what he has to do, right? He has to take the initiative to get the favor back for BTK. So, you know, he might get, as long as he's not getting punished, it's just a failed attempt. It's down for now. They can fall back. Yes, Yato, so far, having a great game on the Valentina pick. He's 2-0. and He's got the Mystery Shop, too. Able to build up those items better here. The damage is also going to be in favor for Yato. So hopefully, this is all buying time once again for Iso to get to where he needs to be. Oh, another hook does land onto Joy Bonds. A lot of damage. Best player picks up the kill. Time and time again. When will this reign of destruction end? <laughs> Joy Bodge, man, he's... I think he needs to be a little more patient right now. He's a little bit moving all over the place. He's showing his face too much, and Shark's got a read on him, man. No matter where he goes, he's getting caught. He's getting picked. And it doesn't matter if Yato has the damage, because once you get picked and you're 0-4-1 and one on Akaja, you're going down. Well, that's the thing, right? Uh, Joy Bodge is going to... He's died four times. You got to be a little more careful, but at the same time, who else is going to start things for them? What was Aiden being focused down here, though? Yeah. He might have a counter punch. Just over half health, but up and up. Obviously, Joy Boss taking a lot of damage, goes down again. Now they're focused on Moba Zane and T, trying to slow them down. Is this going to be enough to take down? Suppression onto Moba Zane. Iso found the tower off screen, and Basic finds the kill onto Moba Zane. Oh. Shark goes down from a side panel there by Yato. So, I mean, Yato right now is the only hope, it feels like. Lord, getting melted down already. I don't think they want to try to contest this. They got to back it off. Luckily, Iso making some plays happen elsewhere, though, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, feathered air striking down goes Yato. 
and it just looks like it's surgical at this point, right? They know, Outplay knows what they want to do. They know how to punish mistakes from BTK. So BTK is now going to take a breather. They have to deal with this Lord. It's coming down the bottom lane here. Still trying to farm up, gain some gold, and they're managing it, right? With the way things have been unfolding, it's about a 3k still difference, and time will tell, right? But they got to hold on here, deal with the Lord, hold on to as many tier 1 towers as they can. So you can already see the pokes from the, the from the Renner is not just there against best player even. So buying time is the key for BTK. Yeah, I think at this point, yeah, they need to buy time. I was a little worried though because Outplay does have some decent late game potential, but still we can't completely count BTK out just yet. Once again, still only a 3,000 gold lead for Outplay. We're now at about 10 minutes in. Lord down the bottom side. Outplay may not be able to get too much out of this. They maybe lose this tier two at the top side. Yeah, they're not done yet. They're going to go ahead and try to continue on to the the next tier there, you see BTK not really in a position to contest this just yet. Well, right now, it's just a space advantage that Outplay is continuing to get. They got the turrets they wanted. They might look to get this tier one in mid lane next, leading into that second Lord, where it gets a lot more. Mobile Zane gets caught. Suppression land, but penalty zone comes in. Who gets out for some more positioning? Down comes the feathered airstrike. Promise finds him. Kill on to T. And one thing that probably a lot of people may have not seen there is ISO misses the snipe shot once again. Probably could have scared Hoon back a little bit. And then once again, Moba Zane all alone, getting caught off, getting pulled in. And by then it's just too late for BTK. Joy Bosch, like we stated earlier, not really able to do much here. Zero, five, and one. You're a support roam. You're already kind of squishy. He landed that one, but it was a standing still target. <laughs> still, though, we need to see them take. Make things slow. Speaking of which, we do have a feathered airstrike to go ahead and suppress. Hoon finds the kill onto ISO from the side. Promise coming in to still put pressure onto BTK. All right, at this point, 11 minutes in, it's really tough, right? BTK is in a in a tough position, and most likely too, with the way things are unfolding. Zane's gonna lose these buffs, right? He's gonna lose the purple, he's gonna lo lose the orange, but some way, somehow, BTK has to prep up either to contest the next Lord in, a, in less than 30 seconds, or possibly just give it up, defend on the high ground. Yeah. yeah, and you can see already a lot of suppressive fire coming down while they are taking these turrets. They're very smart about making sure they're able to zone BTK out to safely take them. Most definitely now, with the way things are going, is there a win condition for BTK? Once Joy Bodge gets a little bit tankier, and if Yato can take the right ultimates, if we're looking at him right now, he has nothing. He hasn't really been able to get the vision, get close enough to be able to get that IMU off. Oh, that's tough, right? No conceal available. They already used it. Gonna try to oh, no. Another hook lands, followed by a suppression. Feathered airstrike, serving up some Team damage. Return. Shark actually taking low T. Boba Zane gets taken down. By who? Joy Boss is next on the list. Basic is on fire right now. Promise with the grab grab onto ISO, but he's gonna go ahead and think twice about that. You see Yacht, ooh, a Phantom Execution almost went out, but was canceled. You know, a lot of people, even us as the casters, are wondering about Promise. He's 2-0 and 6 right now, if you're wondering. He's looking good, he's in the back line, and what happened? He got a good matchup in T right now, 0-2-2. Two two. No one can get close because of the fear of hooks, the fear of shark. So with this close composition that they have, where nobody has huge range, how can they get past that? That's a good point. It's tough, right? Because as things kind of continue to snowball now, this is where, again, outplay is in that momentum-based play style. It, they're taking risks because they can afford to, right? Moba Zane able to get the purple buff here. They are trying to secure even the orange buff for ISO. They know he is kind of one of those cards that they're going to be relying on as the game goes on. They've got to deal with the Lord now, top side, defend the base here. One amazing thing that can happen is while they're defending in their base, you get a great penalty zone, you have your Beatrix already there, you've got Yato doing great job on the Valentina, has damage. If they can just outlast that outplays kind of brunt damage, then they might have a chance here, but they're gonna get split up Ooh. so far. Lord's still top side here, gonna be worked on by Zane. I don't think best player has ever played on MS like this. That man is moving <laughs> on the Lance right now. I mean, he phased out of the Appraisal's Wrath earlier. He's just able to, he's, he's hitting. He's, he's, what is he doing? He's bobbing, he's weaving. He's bobbing, he's weaving. He's got single digit ping. 
Yeah, it's now it's different. <laughs> we see a feathered air strike come down and canceled. While they're gonna go ahead oh. side and put some damage and finish off oh. that top tower. Joy Bosch with the divine judgment. We do find a kill on the oh. best oh. player. Basically coming in with the kill onto ISO. We are defending for our lives as T gets taken down. Joy Bosch hits that immortality and he is down. Moba Zane and Yato alone here to defend this against four members of OP. They are continuing on the push, dancing around Hook. Does go wide. Zane comes in, does not land the taunt. Feathered Airstrike comes down. Raining damage onto Yato and then Yato very low. Feathered Airstrike of his own. Okay, that's a successful defense. It could have ended there, but BTK holds on with two members, Zane and Yato. They hold it down, but it also looked good. like that was the moment Teresa players are looking for. T had a great setup with the penalty zone. He flickered in, but unfortunately, that's the difference of itemization. It showed right there. He was kind of left to his own. But again, time is the answer here for BTK. If they can get another, let's say, three to five minutes, they might be in a better position. That was also one of the first times Joy Bodge was finally able to pull someone. So a conceal play like this, even later on, if it, con if it converts into a kill, that's great starting steps for BTK. I mean, at this point, they're using it just to check bushes, right? They never know that's where fear. Shark is. He's in the water somewhere, right? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, he's, he's just waiting for you. But another co very cool thing or interesting thing to point out there, Yato took a big risk in that high ground defense, right? He goes into the feathered airstrike. If he got another shot there, he would have been out, but he's able to pop the IMU, get his own feathered airstrike, and that secures them the ultimate defense there, clearing oh. some of those waves. Yeah, Joy Boss gets spotted by OP. Down comes the feathered airstrike to zone out the rest of BTK as we are setting up around this Lord. We're starting on it looking for probably a little bit of a bait. OP knows they have the team fight against BTK, so we're gonna look for an angle. Angles. Speaking of which, uh, Angles, Promise on the side of BTK. Lord is down to about half health. Promise just in there tanking the damage, trying to zone out the rest of BTK. Oh, you can see basically clearing out the mid lane as well. They're attacking from so many different angles right now. We hear the Conceal play come out. Hold oh, oh. gets grabbed up with the Divine Judgment, followed by the penalty zone. Up at the top, ISO goes down to Promise. The rest of BTK is in flight. Trying to get away from an oppressive OP right now. Mopa Zane has been caught by Promise and he is, oh, almost, he's not down yet. Still struggling to find his way out. Best player puts the finishing touches on him. So they do stop themselves com from getting completely annihilated there. But still, as you said earlier, Naisu, the itemization difference. They keep getting some decent plays. He gets the pull. He gets the divine the divine judgment onto Hoon there. Stops a feathered airstrike, but it's just not enough. And with all those angles, ISO gets pushed away. Everyone else gets split up, and outplay has fun with them. Well, that's what I'm saying. That whole sequence there, Hoon took two ultimates, right? He took the divine judgment. He took the penalty zone. He winter tranche. And that was just like, all right, you guys wasted that. Everybody zoned out. So, you know, BTK just got kind of split up. Even promised the fact that he's playing this glue, having a massive game. He's quite tanky himself. He's able to be such a threat. So that's the thing right now is you have quite a few tanky boys for outplay to deal with, right? You, you got to get through them somehow. You got to dodge the, the, the hooks and everything else. But BTK... Once again, if ISO needs more time, right? He might have a couple items at this point, but really it comes down to outlasting, outlasting that setup. Now they have to deal again in a similar situation just a few minutes ago with the Lord on the top side. I do feel like they are starting to get just a little bit more comfortable, especially, like you said, finding that Divine Judgment on Tahoon. It's just a point of that they are so far behind. But it, if they can elongate this game just a little bit longer, they'll start to even up those odds. Speaking of which, Lord oh. up at the top, another hook lands, and down goes Moba Zane. This might be a, the last push of the game right now. There are four members of BTK trying to withstand this push down go the last high ground tower we are now at the base crystal trying to defend you can see here right now what there's the kings doing a decent job and op thinking twice yeah i mean they're hanging on right now hanging on for dear life btk against the world and shark missing a hook 
Down comes the feather airstrike. Joy Bosch lands a divine judgment, followed by a penalty zone. Ice up gonna have to top up. Joy Bosch very low. Promise coming in, swooping around. Best player deep in. Yato takes up a kill on to face it. Iso finds a kill on the Promise as well. Very successful oh. defense for BTK. They do it again. BTK successfully defends their base when it looks like it was against all odds, but they're in the game still. Again, game number one, quite action-packed here, right? Now, some people might be saying, hey, Outplay's just taking some risks. They're quite a bit ahead. They're dealing with it. But what that's going to convert to is space for them to work with, right? BTK is going to get some resources. They're going to get some turrets and move, be able to move around the map instead of just being in their base or at least their side of the jungle here. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've taken a lot from them. Not only that, they've gotten a little bit of gold back. Yato in a bad spot. We'll be able to get away from that, but still, at this point, BTK is now at least uh, evened out the playing field a little bit, but there's still a huge gold lead. Taking a look at some of them, we're looking at Moba Zane and Best Player. Right now, that's a 4k gold lead over to Best Player. He's max itemed out right now. Moba Zane just got there, which is going to be important, right? As long as he can dodge those hooks, he may not get taken out too quick. As long as he can dodge those hooks. That's been a, a common theme here for out this entire game. We're talking about Shark, who just has this great like ESP when it comes to these hooks. And, but we're going to go ahead and start on it to see if this fight maybe ends up a little differently. We're starting to move on to the end of the game. There's only six items you can get. Things can only start evening out from here. Conceal play comes in. Joy Bosch might be caught. He does get caught. Down comes the Feathered Airstrike, putting the damage out to Ice. So it activates that immortality, and he goes down. That's two down for BTK. Zane is trying to get away. Three members left, but if anything, this is going to go ahead and secure this Lord for OP. So once again, Outplay sends that wave down the mid side. Moba Zane forced to kind of head back. The moment that Outplay knows it's a 4v5, they pounce, they strike, and look what they get for it, getting the macro over BTK right now. Yeah, down comes the Feathered Airstrike. Zane's gonna pay for trying to defend this purple buff. Immortality has been activated. Best player picks up the low. Oh. They are hitting them from all different angles. Zane gets taken down. Yatos, Immortality is up. He uses that flicker, trying to gas his way to safety. Is not able to. It's just T left. Here comes the Phantom. Execution tried to make his way back to the safety of the base. Four members still here and a wave here to help BTK defend. Down comes the feathered airstrike. Basically can go ahead and use that thorned rose to negate some of the damage, but they are not lighting up. Iso picks up a kill, but here comes the luminous lord. Down to 10% health. This is gonna be game one going to outplay. And a good game one at that. I think it ended about uh, 21, 22 minutes. Outplay does hold the lead the entire game, though. Is this going to be the momentum to take them quickly through this Grand Finals, Nice. I'm hoping not. I, I mean, great that they got game one, but I'm hoping not for a quick...